Hello, welcome to Everyday General Knowledge. Today we will discuss about land revenue system in British period. So let's start our discussion. So this is the main purpose of land revenue system during British period. Till 18th century, Indian agriculture and cottage industries had a very strong relation. India held prominent place in field of agriculture and handicraft production in the world. <coughs> the coming of British colonial rulers destroyed handicraft industry while causing far-reaching change in country's agrarian structure by introducing novel system of land tenure and policies of revenue administration. So this is the main purpose of land revenue administration during British period. Now we will discuss one by one. The first one is permanent settlement or Jamindari settlement 1793. It was introduced in Orissa, Bihar and district of Benares by Lord Cornwallis in 1793. John Shore plan the permanent settlement this line is very very important according to this settlement the jomindari got proprietary right on land and these rights become permanent the jomindars were free to fix the rent the cultivator who had enjoyed some rights was now reduced to the status of tenant on land the Jamindars had to pay 89% of the revenue collected to the East India Company while keeping the rest or 11% to himself. The rules regarding the payment of revenue were very rigid. Defaulters often lost claim over the land but in future any increase in the rental or an estate could be kept on the Jamindars himself. The settlement turned out to be very harmful for the peasant and also for some jamindars. Since the initial revenue demand by the British was very high, a number of jamindars were unable to pay the revenue demanded by the British and as a result they lost their land. Second one is Routery system. 1820. Router system was introduced by Thomas Munro in 1820 during the governorship of Lord Hastings. Major areas of introduction include Madrasa, Bombay and part of Assam and Krog provinces of British India. Since there was no Jamindars in South India, the company recognized the peasant as a proprietor. Under the Rotary system, a direct settlement was made between the government and Raita, means cultivator. <coughs> the revenue was fixed for a period of period from 20 to 40 years where every individual was responsible for payment of revenue. The revenue rates of router system were 50% where the lands were dry and a 60% in irrigated land. It was based on the scientific rent theory of economist Ricardo. Now third one, Mahalwari system. In 1833, the Mahalwari system was in, introduced under William Benting. This was basically a modified form of the Jamindari system. Introduction in the Ganga Valley, Punjab, Northwest Frontier Province, part of Central India. Under this system, revenue settlement was made village by village or estate by estate with local chief or hereditary collectors of a Mahal. <clears throat> the village belonged jointly to the village community. They were responsible for payment of revenue. Entire land of Mahal was measured at the time of fixing the revenue. The system eliminated middlemen between the government and village community and brought about improvement in irrigation facility, yet its benefit was largely enjoyed by the government. So these three was the three main revenue system introduced in British period try to remember it <clears throat>